What is going on, Movie Meals? Hope everyone is doing all right. Uh, apologies for not doing many reviews lately. Uh, been getting a lot busier, even if I'm in quarantine than I thought I would be. I uh, haven't been able to watch as many movies as I would like. I'm trying to make up for that currently. Um, I'm hoping this upcoming week I'm going to be watching Save It Private Ryan. Hopefully I can get a review for that in the meantime. Um, but right now I recently watched two comedies uh, not too long ago. So I fear why not just make that into one big video and uh, just give that to you guys. So first off, I saw The Lovebirds on Netflix, the comedy starring Kamel Nanjiani and Issa Rae. It was supposed to be, I believe, a Paramount movie that was going to go into theaters, but with all the quarantine stuff happening, it later just dropped onto Netflix. Um, so I, I, I was bummed I wasn't able to see it in the theater, but at least I got to see it regardless, able to finally check it out. And it, it was a lot better than I thought it would be. With comedies, it's weird. It's hit and miss. I always try to watch a lot of comedies, get a good laugh, especially kind of needing it in the year 2020, that's for sure. But uh, I wasn't really expecting too much from this comedy going in. Uh, trailers were fine, but they just weren't really uh, grabbing my attention as much as I would like to, especially with uh, two comedic talents like Issa Rae and Kamel Nadjani R. Uh, but they really stole the show for me. Like, they really uh, convinced me that they're this couple who are in love but are struggling to kind of get their connection going again. They kind of seem like they're drifting apart almost, uh, which was surprising because I fell for the title, The Lovebirds. I wasn't expecting such a dynamic to be that one in particular, but they really played it well. They played well to where they love each other, but, you know, they're trying to come to grips to where they are in their lives and whether they should... Uh, be a part or together and just have that back and forth and they were able to have a lot of great laughs along the way despite some of the stuff being a bit serious and heavy-handed uh and th they were able to steal the show they were pretty much the two funniest people in that movie um there is Anna Camp in there as well but that's probably my big negative is that she's barely in it um it's just such a shame too she's so funny so talented but yet she only has maybe one or two scenes and she does really well in that but beyond that it's mainly just Kamel and is a show which is fine that's totally okay but for me being a Nana Camp fan I was just really hoping that uh we could see a lot more of her in this movie but uh when it comes to the last when it comes to the story I really dug it it was a mystery that worked well for me especially in a comedy like you don't know whether it's gonna be too over the top or whether it's gonna be too heavy-handed that contradicts to what the comedy is but I think it meshes pretty well here and I think uh thanks to the two leads they're just able to do such a great job in making the mystery entertaining but at, but at the same time bring you a lot of good laughs and the other comedy that I saw was the spy who dumped me uh starring Mila Kunis and Kate Kate McKinnon there we go I almost forgot what it was um and I believe this movie came out last year but I just didn't go out to see it uh again comedies it's hit and miss you never know the trailer didn't really strike me as really needing to see this movie and the reviews certainly weren't doing the movie much justice uh but I came away being pleasantly surprised by this one as well again comedy is hit hit and miss like you just never know but uh but for this one I was a bit more surprised with uh just because of all the reviews and um all the negative buzz I was hearing about it which I didn't quite get why I guess when it comes to being a comedy Mila Kunis and uh Kay McKinnon do their best like they clearly have chemistry between each other but I think uh, for this movie, a lot of the jokes were pretty much misses. Not that there weren't funny moments. There certainly were, but just not enough to really make it be like, that's a good comedy. That's one I'm going to be remembering for a long time. Um, but what surprised me about this was how good the action was. I mean, for this movie called the Spy You Dumped Me, you're expecting action with this along with the comedy. But I was expecting about a 50-50 split of having good comedy and good action. But somehow the movie was able to kind of give me a majority of the percentage being uh, great action over great comedy. So I don't know, for some reason, the, the action parts were really stood out to me. Like there was a lot of good stunt work that I was thinking, man, this could be a really cool, just straightforward action movie. And it was reminding me of like past action movies I've seen before. I mean, not to the level of some really great ones that we've seen like The Raid or John Wick necessarily, but still pretty impressive given that I was thinking that this was just going to be a straightforward comedy and not so much uh, an action movie at the, at the same time. So I was really impressed uh, by some of the action moments they made up for it. Um, and for my negatives on that one, aside for not a lot of the comedy really hitting, is that uh, Hasan Minhaj 
is in this movie, and I'm a big fan. Hopefully, I'm, I'm pronouncing his name right, too. I apologize if I'm not. Um, but I, I, I thought I heard somewhere that it was pronounced that, but correct me if I'm wrong, that's totally okay. Uh, I've been known to uh, mispronounce people's names too many times, but anyway, I really like the stuff uh, that I've seen him, like, on his Netflix show and whatnot, but um, here, I don't know, like, again, they don't utilize him well, and I was just bummed out just being a fan of his work and his material, so I don't know, maybe this is just, just me being wishful thinking as a fan and all, but I thought that they could have really utilized not only his uh, his comedy skills and his acting a lot more, but just even with some of the other uh, actors in this as well. Uh, not, no, not really necessarily any big names or anything, but you could tell that they have uh, the charisma and the characteristics of good actor uh, techniques to be able to do a lot more than what they were given, I think. So uh, I, I think I would prefer the Lovebirds over the Spy Who Dumb Me, just seeing them back to back. Um, but e easily, if you just want to have a good time, just be able to kick back for an hour and a half and just turn your brain off, either one of these I think will be able to do just fine. So, uh, yep, just two quick reviews on, uh, for some comedies. Hopefully that lifts people's spirits up. Hopefully everyone is being safe and doing okay. Um, and please, if you have the chance, like, subscribe, share our channel. And as always, thanks for watching Alex's mom, and we'll see you later.